Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. Today you join me with the all-new Lexus LM350H. This is a luxury mover in Lexus language, and basically is a chauffeur designed, very expensive, very upmarket, private jet style vehicle. Now I'm going to give you a tour of the LM and just a showcase of what it's like inside. Now you can make your own opinion on the design of the outside. This is a first drive, I'm here at the press launch, so let's get into this video. So the dimensions of the Lexus LM, it is a fairly large vehicle, it's 5.12 metres in length, about 1.9 metres wide. Overall height is about 1.9, so it's quite a tall vehicle. The wheelbase is 3 metres and that benefits the rear spectacularly. Now you're looking about 2.3 tonnes for this car and a fuel tank of about 60 litres. Boot capacity is about 752 litres and we are riding on 19 inch alloy wheels. This Lexus is finished in graphite black paint, power tailgate, LED adaptive headlights and we have of course things like your heated mirrors that are also auto folding and auto dimming. Now let's crack on with this video. Now, for the boot of the car to open the LM, you attach this little button here. And because the tailgate's so large, this is on the side of the vehicle, and that's going to open up and reveal the boot space. Now, let's take a look at the back. So here is the boot space of the LM. Fairly spacious back here. Like I can sit back here, no problem. I do believe it can take two 77cm suitcases, because it is very tall. You know, you do have these very luxurious plush seats. But yeah, it is a van after all, so it's very comfortable, very spacious and very wide and boxy. And all this is kind of rather lined as well. So I guess if you're going to be, you know, carrying suitcases in and out, the bottom of it is lined in this plastic. So it's not going to scratch or tear too much because I know all too well this material does tear and it can get caught in things. And that is just going to make things upsetting. Uh, they do have... a uh, power outlet back here, UK power socket, so that's even handier if you're trying to charge something, maybe work on your laptop, typing away here, because the tailgate's going over as well. It lifts up, it's going to hide you from the rain a little bit, I guess, or sun if it's super sunny. Underneath we do have, I'm going to say storage, but it's not really storage as you and I would probably put things in, it's more for like roadside repair, but we do have three individual bits in here for various compartments, you know, again, there's a spare wheel under that one. There's not too much under there. I wouldn't really be putting your valuables in there, but there is room if you really need it at a push. We do have tie-down hooks if you want to get straps for your luggage. You can do so. And there's a little hook up here as well with the lights. And that's all there is to really say back here. It is plush. Did you see in the back of these seats? For a boot, it's a boot. It's huge. It's van-shaped. Now just have a look how soft and squidgy this boot is like. <laughs> this is all softly padded and, you know, I guess you'd expect that for a car of this price point, you know. It's nice, soft, squidgy and just, yeah, I'm enjoying the materials in the back of this car for sure today. Now it is electrically operated. Now because of the size of the tailgate, there is a button up here you can push. But you've also got the option on either side of the car to lower it as well at a touch of a button. So it's really up to you how you want to close it. But yeah, at a touch of a button, it should close. Stand far enough back because it is a very large tailgate. So at the back of the Lexus LM, we do have the Lexus badge spelt out saying Lexus spaced out gone is the Lexus L logo and we do have this large bar light across the rear along with chrome finishing now this is based on the Toyota Alphard that's a very popular car in Asia and some of the attributes of that vehicle and design these kind of vans are very popular in that neck of the woods so this is kind of what we've got the design of you know it's quite understated I would say you know, there's not too much going on small wheels it's not like a big Escalade brash and brawny in your face. This is a hybrid. This is going to be, you know, a little bit more subtle. You can see this driving around town, taking you to your runway, getting on your G5, whatever it may be. Um, this is the kind of car, chauffeur van for you. But yeah, there's not too much to say back here. A little clone, chrome strip down the bottom. You can see the parking sensors and it's in Lexus LM spaced out there. So we're inside the Lexus LM and by God is it tall and you feel like the dash is just going on forever. Now this is my first time driving a van like this with like a really tall, long 
like dashboard, like it's impressive. Like it must be about what, two feet of dash in front of me. Um, that's the first impression I get when you first get into the Lexus LM. You're sitting quite tall. Your yeah, visibility is quite great. We've got nice thin A pillars here. We've got a wee window in front of the driver. So I guess you can see out. Don't know if you're maybe worried about driving around London and not knocking over something on an e-bike, for example. But yeah, overall, it's a nice place to be premium feeling materials and then you've got this kind of like copper colour running across the dash right round the doors kind of like round which is a nice little delicate touch and this wood trim here that's above and below the centre console bit here so overall it's a really nice kind of plush environment now it's very familiar Lexus in here so what I mean by that is we've got the drive selector which we've seen in things like the Lexus LC, NX etc foot in the brake all the way forward for reverse brings up your 360 cameras in the central screen all the way down for drive like so and you can see the front camera other buttons in the center here for example your ev mode hold mode electric parking brake and um, traction control button are all buttons you can touch you know people are liking buttons i'm quite fond of some buttons for fond of stuff not everything being buried in the screen up here we do have a mark lemson sound system built into the lexus infotainment screen now this is the current Lexus infotainment screen that we have seen on other Toyota Lexus models and this worth mentioning this car has a 23 speaker Mark Lemson sound system. Up front we do have this touchscreen here which is 14 inch multimedia touchscreen and yeah everything in here is fast and responsive and what we've seen in other products from Toyota and Lexus. Now you can control things like sport eco comfort mode, there's even a rear comfort mode which helps reduce kind of the pitch when you're accelerating and braking for the rear passengers. That's unique to the LM. Yeah, not too much to say about here. We do have heated cooled seats, then you can touch on a button, leave it in auto, like so. Heated steering wheel, there's two stages of heating, but yeah, you can leave that in auto. I'm just going to turn it off so you can hear me during this video. But yeah, that's quite a cool feature, just to let the car work it out. Same thing for your, like your fan speed, etc. They are in the screen, but they're always there in their own bit, so you can just touch it and you're not having to go through menus. Same thing for the temperature control. You know, that's built into the radio um, dial there, so you're able to kind of turn it up and down. Just at a touch of a button there, and you can see a blue and a red colour. Just below that, we do have your hazards, and then we do have your air vents for the centre there. Now, unlike the Lexus LC, where the passenger got free, it's all about rear comfort in this car. So up front, the passenger here gets one vent, and then there's two in the middle, and then one over here for the driver. There is a little bit of this bit in here for USB-C charging, and I guess, I don't know, it's rubberized, put coins or something in there. And then there's this button here for the divider, two cup holders, and then a very large center, dual hinged center console here. Lined with the fuzzy stuff, HDMI cable, 12 volt power outlet, and USB-C as well. Doing it's fairly deep, what you'd expect from a car of this size. Now, it wouldn't be a Cars of Glasgow video, but a, a glove box reveal, and voila, it's very tiny. It's lined with the fuzzy stuff. The outside of it's kind of got a vinyl material on it. It's not as plush as what we've seen in the LC, but it's small. Like, I was really expecting it to be a lot bigger because it's van based, um, like Alphard based. I know the platform is the same platform you get in the Lexus NX, which means it's a car based platform, which I'll touch on when we get to driving. But yeah, I was just expecting this to be larger, um, but hey-ho. Seats up front, they do have the Lexus emblem on the headrest there. Again, that copper stitching and kind of wee bits of copper around the side of the trim. But yeah, that's not too much to say back here. Um, the seats, I've got lumbar support, the electronic door release, usual Lexus affair on the right-hand side. Big difference on the right-hand side versus other vehicles there's a lot more buttons so we can open and close doors in the boot from up here we can open and close the doors from over here on the right hand side so there's quite a few ways to do one action in this car same thing in the key fob so yeah there's a quite multiple ways you can do that and then there's buttons here if you want to adjust the seats for example in the back left and right hand side and over on the right hand side here is where your memory seats are and then these are where you're going to open and close the doors so like so we can open the door now let's get into the back of this car because things are going to be exciting firstly we're going to see let's, let's well show you the soft closed door that's the soft close we've got the umbrella a little lexus emblem here a grab handle to get into the vehicle quite a low floor with a wee step so let's go ahead and jump inside 
and we're going to be treated with all the space, big plush comfortable seats. And if you want to close the door, simply touch this button up here, hit close, and it's electronically going to close like so. So this is where it begins to feel like that first class jet because it's got the air vents up above, as you can see down here below, and then two big sunroofs as well, which we can close the shades at a touch of a button. So you can literally pull them across like so. And we've got a very isolated cabin back here. Now it's a very surreal environment, even for myself, because this is a really nice plush soft place to be very luxurious we've got things like a vanity mirror there so you can sit in the seat you know you can do your lipstick and say hi thomas <laughs> plenty of leg room do you know we can push this button here you can hide goodies it's all limbs the fuzzy stuff but yeah like look at this we've got plenty of room here we've got adjustment down here so we can pull this out like so Slowly but surely, we're going to get the legs standing out. Like that. We can adjust this. We've got heated and cooled seats. All touch of a button back here. But yeah, we can do so many things. So we can adjust the seat. We can raise and lower it. We can tilt the back of it. Get yourself comfortable after a long, hard day at work. And then you've got other wee buttons here as well. Things like your central display like that. So if you don't want your driver to talk to you, you can be like, Jeeves, take me to Harrods. And then you can put your window back up like so. Again, electric window blinds are going to be controlled on the right hand side here. If you want to get your McDonald's order, thank you very much. And then you can close that like so. And you're going to get that closing. If you want to close the side shades, all you do is touch this button here. And you're going to see that opening and then closing at one touch of a button. Hide away from the sun and do your secret business meetings. So we do have another hinged compartment in here with USB-C, HDMI ports, and more outlets down here for your three pin power outlet. So there's a lot going on in here if you want to charge a laptop, etc. And there is this little sliding shelf thing in here as well. So there's a lot going on back here that is going to be very rear passenger focus, which is kind of probably the point of this vehicle. So, you know, we can even do things that like turn on nightlight, we can change the ambient colours, you know, there's a lot you can do um, in here. There's even a little bit of storage up here for things like your sunglasses, whatever it may be, but I just love, like, you've got the straddles of wood, the suede material, and then you can see things like your time up there, and it just kind of gives you the vibe, like, rolling along the road like this. Now, this is a huge screen back here, you can connect it up with your HDMI and put something on. Now, of course, we've got important business stuff to do back here. And I need my table for it. So, yeah, this is what we've got back here. So, could you imagine TV on? I can open this little compartment in here, bring out my bottle of Coke, get the crisps out, watch your TV, and you can enjoy your drive as your way of going and then look at this we've got these little pads back here so there we go we can turn things like your lights oh we're turning them on look at that voila Let's see what we've got illumination we can increase that by zone we've got reading lights Let's go back So literally you can turn on the screen back here, touch of a button, can be controlled through here, and then turn that off. And all we're going to do is push that back in, like so, and then you can still control it if you want at touch of a button, which is pretty cool I think. Quite cool to have those little devices that come out, I am really enjoying having a cooled seat back here. Now you may be wondering, is there enough room for somebody that's 5 foot 11? Often I see comments, I'm 6 foot, I can't fit in this. Well, tell me, this is incredible. Like this is literally first class lounge experience. Do you know, look at this space, the quality of the leather seats is like a really fabulous thing. Look at the headrest with the little Lexus emblem in them. Do you know, it's a really impressive place to be. So I think you're going to be more than happy to be in here. And there's things like your little book lights. You know, you can get adjustment 
any way really you want because it is configurable height, the back and even the leg support and then you've even got the little like, bit here for a table if you wish. And if you are curious from the rear passenger perspective, obviously we've got the wee table here, a little cup holder here and then you can put that armrest down if you want to continue having that and then there's a little thing going on back here for more secret storage so you can put your phone in there, charge it up and then USB-C chargers and a headphone jack back there as well. So there's a lot going on here to help rear passengers. Now this is from the perspective down here, we've got a little bit here you can push, a little drawer lined with the fuzzy stuff so you can maybe put coins, credit cards, deeds to your oil company, whatever it may be. And then down here we've got, again, lined with the fuzzy stuff. I don't know if you would put a bottle in there because you might ruin all the felt, but I guess you could put longer items in there. Pens for contracts or whatever it may be. This car is very, you know, it's just giving elegance. It's very giving a very luxurious environment. And honestly, it's going to cater your needs, especially if you're maybe somebody that appreciates a little bit of privacy. You're used to the private jet lifestyle and overall what a quality premium vehicle and this is going to have a 10 year warranty as well which is just going to be impressive up to 100,000 miles of course now I've just pushed that button there to undo that but yeah there's a quick look again at the seats there's the seat controls again leave an auto and let the car work out what's best for the rear passenger but look how soft they are like these are so comfortable literally like an airplane seat like so soft so spongy so incredible now to get out of the car, all we're pushing is open and this is going to pull open like so. Okay, so we're driving the new Lexus LM Takumi. So, firstly, it's riding on 19 inch wheels, which I'm just on a very uneven part of road here, which is doing okay uh, over the lumps and bumps there. I really wanted to test out how it feels over that short bit now. That's Hyundai's gonna let me out. Of course not. That's cross traffic alert coming up. Hyundai i6. And there's a man in a kilt there. Okay, but it, you know you're in Scotland and that's all happening at once. So this car uses a two and a half litre four cylinder petrol hybrid. Not plug-in, just a standard hybrid. So self-charging in Lexus terminology. What you have seen in things like the Lexus NX and RX 350H models, this is based on that platform, which means crucially it's car based first versus being van based, such as some of its German competitors. Now, fuel economy for this car is claimed to be 39 miles to a gallon. Now, if you are a hybrid town driver, you're going to benefit from obviously driving around town, EVs, electric modes, it's going to do a little bit better. We do have a claimed top speed of 118 miles per hour. The CO2 for this car is 163 grams per kilometer. Now, putting the foot down. I'll tell you what, it's not as isolated from the road up front than I would have expected. <laughs> uh, a, sounding from a Lexus and B, the price point of the car. Now, visibility is great. I feel like, I feel like I'm in, a van that feels like a car. It's really odd because see because I've got the middle deflector up what's happening is I'm seeing the cars in front of me reflect back so let me see if I can put that down. There we go. Now I can see the cars behind me. So that's quite a cool wee feature. Um, it can be locked out by the rear passengers of course. Now we're just comfortably going across the road on the road and this is where it's going to be happy. That's of cruise control, there we go. So let's set it. Um, I don't know what's happening there. And we're coming to a stop. Like so, it's slowly working its way down, slowly working, will it bring us to a stop? We've got 75% driving, EV driving ratio, 25.9 miles to a gallon on the screen now i haven't been driving it for all that so that's a mixture of everybody that's driven this car before me with the 5,000 miles on this car 
Now, I will say I'm sitting higher than an XC90 in front of me, so that is how tall this vehicle is. A 2024 XC90, and I'm pretty tall as a Ford Transit going by, feel about on par with that. So it is a tall vehicle. Um, I guess you're not buying this to drive it, is going to be my biggest thing. In terms of you're not buying this as your weekend toy or a daily commute, you're buying this if you've got the cash, you're buying it either as a chauffeur company or you own like a big business or something you want chauffeured yourself personally. Do you know that maybe like your like Peter Jones, Field Profitas, one of the Dragon's Dens, something like that. Um, this is going to be the kind of car for you. Round the bend. Yeah, this is all wheel drive and it's not the most, there's a lot of body roll. A lot, a lot of body roll and this 13 plate Yetis all over the place. There we go, foot down, put into sport for a second. Gages go red. I will say it does feel as fast as the 8.7 to 60 is claimed. It does feel about nine seconds to 60. It does not feel um, particularly get up and go. And interestingly, there's no heads up display. Like, I'm really surprised at that. Um, so there's a lot of warnings coming up on this dash here. Right, there's a go. There's my adaptive cruise control. It's now set again. There's good real world driving for us as we're reviewing it. Um, so yeah, that is my quick take on the Lexus LM. If I get it for a couple of days or longer in the future, do a full review. But I wanted to show you because it's new out. Lexus enthusiast here. Um, and it's always cool to show when we're coming to a complete stop on the A-Road for no reason and put it back to normal. It does have a rear comfort mode, which if I did have somebody with me, I'd be testing out in the back today because I think that's the place to be, the back seat uh, up front is not the place for this. But yeah, I was surprised. No heads up display and we're looking down like this. But yes, it's, it's a nice place to be up front. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video on the Lexus LM. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the Cars of Glasgow below. Check me out on the usual social media like Instagram, X, Facebook, etc. Comment your thoughts on the Lexus LM and I'll see you next video. Ciao.